In the first part of this series, Stuart Janeker, here on Skype, explained what a decibel is. To put it simple, it is the logarithm of a ratio. And today we dig a bit deeper into this subject. Why are we using a logarithm? Why do we have 10 log and sometimes 20 log? How does sound pressure work? And is there a sort of a digital equivalent for the decibel? Stuart, four questions. Are you ready? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Why are we using a logarithm for the decibel? Uh, there are a lot of reasons. <laughs> uh, first off, for, for computational simplicity, and, and you'll you'll see an example of that shortly. Uh, logarithms tend to be very uh, very convenient. Uh, mostly and, and historically, it was because human senses tend to work logarithmically. And by that, what I mean is, for example, if, if I am playing some music and I tell you, turn the volume control so the music sounds twice as loud to you, what you end up doing is turning it so it's actually about 10 times the amount of power that it was before. In other words, your ear doesn't respond uh, linearly. Okay, it does respond logarithmically. So hmm. each change of 20 dB in volume, 10 dB in power is an order of magnitude, but um, you don't perceive it that way. Interestingly, the other human senses tend to work sort of the same way. They, okay. they respond uh, in a very nonlinear way. Uh, this is how, how nature has built us. A second reason is also computational simplicity, and we'll get to a couple of examples of that. Uh, logarithms originally in mathematics were developed in order to make computation simpler in uh, in the days before computers. And yeah. uh, anybody who has gone through their high school algebra course uh, and uh, still remembers any of it might remember some of the uh, logarithmic identities, which made, again, computations a lot simpler. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, this also this also might bring us to uh, bring me to the second question. Um, last time you showed us a nice uh, picture with ten lock, twenty lock. Why is it so difficult? Why not just one figure for all the decibel uh, calculations? Why not just ten? Or let's choose for twenty. <laughs> well, it's uh, yeah, it would be nice to standardize, and we could in fact standardize if everyone agreed all of the time only to use voltage or only to, to use power. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we tend to use different uh, units and have different interests depending on a uh, particular measurement that, uh, that we're trying to do. So we need to be able to interconvert readily between uh, voltage and current. Now, fortunately, as I had said about computational simplicity from uh, logarithms, uh, and again, I'll use one of my um, uh, high-tech uh, visual aids here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because power goes as the square of voltage, okay, we can make use of this logarithmic identity. Yeah. The log of a power is equal to the power times the log of the thing that we took the power of. So, so yeah. the log of x to the n is n log x. So very conveniently, if I have 10 times the log of x squared, and in this case x could be a voltage if this is a power ratio, that's the same as 20 times the log of x. So that's why we have the 10 versus 20 when we're converting between uh, power and, and voltage. Okay. Yeah. Again, it would be nice if we only used power all the time or used voltage all the time, but um, engineers have a little streak of anarchism about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, it is it is basically the, the um, yeah in, in the, the application the voltage or the power what you're using, and then you know the mathematical background behind it as you've just shown us. Yes, I mean fortunately this is all sort of high school math at best. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Most people, most people, even if they blocked out all of the uh, <laughs> uh, the math courses that they had to suffer through when they were younger, um, can still grasp that. Oh yeah, it's just a factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of the square. Yeah, so. Br brush up uh, the mathematics skills a bit. <laughs> Good. Now, Indeed. yeah, yeah. Now, if 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 we hear um, a lot of noise, or if there are discussions about noise, outside noise, planes or uh, concepts, etc. We also use the decibel. Um, yes. is, is that the same decibel, or are we talking about something completely different? No, it's still the same decibel. And as you'll recall from, uh, from last week, uh, one of the points that I kept hammering on, and one of the 
the thing that drives me crazy, is that people often don't remember that decibels are a ratio. There has to be a reference. Decibels means with respect to some reference. Yeah. In the case of acoustics, and a case in the case of noise, in the case of sound, we tend to sort of gloss over, but there really is a reference. And uh, last week, I didn't happen to remember what the actual number was, other than zero dB is the uh, of SPL is the uh, threshold of human hearing for exceptionally sharp ears. Uh, in terms of pressure, uh, I, I looked it up. It's uh, 20 micropascals, and okay. that's about the smallest pressure difference that uh, a human can detect. Uh, to put that in uh, sort of a, a way we can understand, zero dB, much quieter than the room that you are sitting in or that I am sitting in. It's about the sound level of a mosquito at about 10 meters. Okay. So this is exceptionally <laughs> quiet. <laughs> well, if, if the mosquitoes stay away, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm already happy. 10 meters will do. <laughs> yes. Now, now uh, again, I'll pull out one of my uh, high-tech visual aids just to, uh, yeah, <laughs> to make right, yeah. clear sort of you know, what different decibel values represent. Yeah. So zero, as I said, is uh, about the smallest sound that a human can detect. Uh, once you get to uh, something like 35 dB, you know, this is this is a very quiet room. Okay? Yeah. Uh, most rooms are a little noisier than that, uh, but 35 dB is a, you know, fairly fairly quiet. Uh, a conversation at sort of a typical level that you and I would be having uh, would be at about 60 dB. Mm -hmm. So again, notice that that's um, you know more than an order of magnitude uh, higher. We uh, in in terms of uh, sound pressure. If we go up another 10 dB, that's about an automobile at, uh, say, 5 to 10 meters away, uh, depending on the car. Uh, there. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. If, if, if it's a Harley Davidson, it might be a bit louder. <laughs> it's a yeah. uh, Mercedes, it might be a little bit, uh, a little bit quieter. Sure. Um, 94 dB, and I chose that bit of an odd number deliberately, is one Pascal. Okay. And so standard pressure unit. 94 dB is... Pretty, pretty loud music. If you've got your stereo uh, turned up loud enough that your uh, roommate or spouse says, turn the damn thing down, that's that. The, the, then, then you've reached 94 dBs, yeah, okay. Probably close to that range. And then I've got 110 dB is a typical rock concert level. Um, your ears will be ringing. Um, and then when I say football here, I'm talking about real football, you know, the kind we play here in America. Yeah. Uh, and if you're in one of the football stadiums and uh, the crowd is very excited, uh, the decibel levels can hit 110 dB. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. really, really loud. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go up as high as something like a jet plane or the space shuttle, but now we're talking uh, 140 to 150 dB. Yeah. At 60 dB, you're basically creating pockets of vacuum in the air because the intensity is so loud. Okay. Again, remember, everything here is logarithmic, so that 110 dB is literally 100 times more power than 90 dB. So each, okay. of the, each 10 dB change in sound pressure level represents a 10 times change in power. This is also important yeah. Yeah. when you're specifying uh, audio system. Because small differences in the power uh, being applied to the speaker don't make that much difference in a perceived level. The difference between a 10-watt amplifier and a 100-watt amplifier, for example, is perceived by the human twice as loud, not 10 times as loud. Yeah. So when people start worrying about, well, gee, should I use a 20-watt amp or a 30-watt amp? The answer is you'll barely hear a difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that doesn't make uh, the big differences as yet. Now, now, this is all analog. You know, we're living in an analog world. That's what you explained also with the logarithm. Uh, but I was just wondering, you know, we are also living in a digital world. And is there a sort of a, a digital equivalent for what we're doing with the decibel? Uh, yes. Um and again, because decibels are just ratios of numbers, and it can be anything, we're, we're putting it in the context of sound and audio because of what our orientation is here in this uh, series of videos. But any numbers uh, can be, any ratio of numbers can be expressed as decibels. So in a digital world, we're dividing up signals into discrete steps. 
And at some point, our system you know, essentially runs out of steps. If we have a system where we've got a thousand different steps, every voltage can be represented as some number between zero and a thousand. Mm -hmm. Just picking that number arbitrarily for compact disc, it's 64,000 something or other for 24 bits. It, 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 it's, yeah, I don't know, 250,000 something like that. <laughs> uh, but, but the point is that every voltage level is just a number. Yeah. And if we arbitrarily, and again, this is just a matter of convention and being arbitrary, if we arbitrarily say the highest number that I can count to in my digital system, I'm going to call zero dB, everything will then be negative decibels with respect to it, and we can represent any value there as, um, uh, as, as a decibel by ratioing it to that top number. Yeah. Uh, if we call the bottom number zero dB, then it would go positively. Yeah. So, again, reaching for my visual aid, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I have a system where, let's say I have a thousand steps. Okay. Yeah. And I say, okay, let me look at step number 500. Yeah. How would I express that as decibels? Well, I would express it if 1000 is my, uh, uh, is, is my reference here, then I would express it as the ratio of 500 to 1000. Mm -hmm. Take the log, multiply it by 20, and that's my dB. And I find out that that's uh, minus 6 dB uh, compared to 1000, which we call full scale okay. FS. Okay, so sometimes if somebody is being very careful in their terminology in a digital system, they will say you know, minus 10 dB FS. And yeah. that's just letting you know that the ratio here is to whatever that full scale number is. So it doesn't matter whether that digital signal is going to be translated into you know, volts, kilovolts, whatever. All, as far as the digital system is concerned, it's just a set of numbers, and we can, as with anything else, take the ratio, take the logarithm of the ratio, and multiply it by 20 to uh, determine what that voltage will end up being. Okay, okay, great. Well, okay, well, um, th th these were the four main questions I had for this you know, beautiful Saturday afternoon here infinite number of topics that, uh, that we can discuss. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah? Have a good weekend. Yeah. Thanks so much, Mr. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>